guys, I'm Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today I'm going to be showing you my natural hair journey for four years. And I had beautiful, healthy, curly hair and as you can see guys, my curls are juicy. I ombre my ends a little but I had no damage to my hair whatsoever. As you can see, my curls are nice and tight. And I mainly used to wear my hair up in a bun if I wasn't wearing it in a wash and go just because it was easier to manage. Here you go guys, some more texture shots of my curls before I damage them. And this is what my hair looked like with deep conditioner in it. Okay guys, so prepare yourself for the colour damage, it was bad. Yes guys, look at that. I did a very bad dye job, yes I know guys. And it was so bad, I didn't like the colour, obviously it was orange, so I then dyed it again. And as you can see guys at the front of my hair, just near my nose, I've got lots of stringy parts. So then I re-dyed it again the next day and I done a twist out because my hair wouldn't hold a curl anymore. And as you can see, my hair looked better in colour but the texture was just damaged and there was no going back. Again in this picture you can see most of my hair is curled but around my temple area I've got long stringy bits. And then this is before I cut off my hair, I straightened it. As you can see, my ends are fried, guys. So here you go, here's the big chop, guys. So I was scared to do this big chop, guys, but I had to do it. If you can see the stringy parts where my hair was so damaged, and by the way, guys, I did dye it back black before <laughs> I cut off my hair. I know, guys, it, it was my fault, I know, I know. So there you go guys, once my hair's been cut, you can see how healthy and thick and juicy my plait is. But I'm going to be totally honest, I was not happy cutting my hair this short. And I didn't really cut it into any style, I just had to cut off the damaged parts guys, so as you can see my face is it all. I then tried to style it in a wash and go, but again I wasn't happy, I just did not like the style, I just, I just didn't like it. <laughs> Again, there's another shot of my hair once I tried to style it and it was super curly as you can see guys So it was very healthy and very curly And I think this is the final wash and go I did after for a long time after cutting my hair So this was the first blowout I done since cutting my hair as you can see my hair is very healthy and I do have fine hair guys so my main style I used to go to was my bun, my high top bun actually, and it was so easy to do and it looked cute. And then as my hair got a bit longer, I used to wear it just out, so a high top poof I guess. And then guys, I tried to be a bit more comfortable doing a wash and go and I think this style looks so cute. I wasn't entirely comfortable with it, but it looked better than my initial wash and go. And this is where my hair really started to flourish guys. I love my hair at this length and it was so juicy and curly and healthy. And again, here's another picture with that length guys. And my hair was so thick at this point. And there you go guys, it just keeps flourishing, getting bigger. So as my hair got longer, it actually started to grow out at one point rather than grow down. And there you can see guys, my hair is healthy as ever got some cute little curls in the front and then my hair started to grow down as you can see. This was actually a twist out that I'd done that actually went wrong so I decided to put it up in a scarf and I think this style looks cute too. So this wash and go I didn't actually like too much. I used different products and my hair looks a lot drier than previous pictures but hey. So then this was my second blowout that I'd done and as you can see my hair starting to look healthy and it's just just lovely. Right guys, so moving on to 2018, here is a texture shot of me washing my hair. You can see I've got my curls back, my hair is just a picture of health. And I continue to use my wash and goes, just because I love wash and goes, they're my go-to basically. And again, my hair looks so healthy and juicy. Okay, now you can see the definition in my hair. My ringlets were so tight once I cut my hair and it grew back healthier. Okay guys, so here I was just showing you the current length of my hair and the wonders that is shrinkage. 
Okay guys, for this look for my curls to pop, all I done was brush my hair with a Denman brush whilst it was wet and just let it dry. These are the results. So my usual go-to middle down the parting ponytail. This is a style I love and it's my go-to as well. Here you can see my curls are defined and juicy and my hair was at its healthiest. And still is. This guys was from my Bentonite clay hair mask video and as you can see it's just popped my curls to the max. Then I done, uh, what is this, this is a wet look guys and my hair is thick and it's just complying with everything I need it to do. So guys I just wanted to show you these pictures, the comparisons of how damaged my hair was and how full it came back once it grew back. So moving on to 2019 now guys. Here is a wash and go I did just using solely creams and this is the look I tend to get if I use only creams in my hair. This is a bun that I did because I love my low buns. Another picture of my bun and this was when I was actually in Florida because it was so hot out there I just threw my hair back most of the time because it was easy I guess. This was the first day I was in Florida and I found out how hot it was to wear my hair in a wash and go so I just carried on with the buns for the rest of the holiday. Then I came back and I threw my hair up in my famous messy bun. As you can see my curls are just popping. And this is from a video that i done I can't remember the name of which video it was. But as again as you can see my hair's growing, it's healthy, it's juicy, juicy, juicy and thick. And then as you may have seen guys, I love the Mofa Jang purple hair wax and this is one of the pictures from that. Okay, so lean up to 2020. Oh, what a year. <laughs> so this is, um, this was a twist out actually. This wasn't a wash and go, it was a twist out. I liked how it looked, but I don't like the feel of my hair when I do braid outs and twist outs. Okay, so then I've gone back to my gel and I've gone back to my messy bun, my messy curly bun I should say. There's another shot of my messy curly top knot. Isn't that cute? And then, there you go, I have a low bun. And I usually throw my hair in this low bun when it's time for my hair to be washed. As you can see, it's starting to look a bit dry. Then once washed and styled, here is my full length of my curls in my ponytail. By the way guys, I haven't dyed my hair. Literally, this is, no matter how many times I dye my hair, this is the colour that my hair seems to go to. Okay, and this was a heatless blowout that I'd done. If you do want to watch that video, I'll leave the link in the description. Okay guys, and if you are familiar with me straightening my hair recently to do a length check, these are the pictures. My hair is the healthiest it's ever been, the longest it's ever been whilst healthy. <laughs> and there you go guys. As you know, or may not know, I am now a fan of, really a true fan of hair grease and I used hair grease to straighten my hair in these pictures. Again, if you do want to watch that video guys, I will leave the link down in the description box. So I've left my straight hair alone and for a week or two, no for two weeks, I've had protective style in my hair. And then I've taken them out. This is my hair washed and just styled for a couple of days and then I got bored again. So these are just the last pictures of how my hair currently looks in a wash and goes guys. But to be honest my hair is actually now in my protective style and if you want to see those you can go over to my YouTube channel and press the community tab where you can leave me any comments, see some posts and pictures that I put up. Anyway guys that is it for now so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!